Hello gang, welcome back to the grand final Mugi and Mohamed's line. You know the Mugi is just one and he he got a golden ticket and moved to the grand final as uh, the final on the December 2023. Okay, let's go. Miro match up. And let's see the how to how performance uh, the most player Mugi. I'm not sure he will he can win. Because he wants to, if he, if he wants to become the champions, he need to destroy. He need to win Mohamed's life for women for women row at least. Rebelly deck. Let me upgrade that kind of volume. Show the kind of success and watching the two best players in the world play this deck. Nice ticking tower, but be careful with Toido and, and Mazika Chill at three. Yeah, I mean it's really going to be about exactly that right there. Aggressive magic archers and then predicting when they're going to come down. No. No way. Mazika Chill is more or less like the better, the better than Yugi. So while Mo does have the time to say good game, no luck. Miro match up and who will get the higher damage? I want to do a deep dive for sure. on what just happened here, like kind of analytically speaking. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't worry, Mugi. The finally, you, you gotta go to the tickets. If you lose, it doesn't later, matter. Spot when he knows his I, I'm sure the Mugi is feeling a little for sure, never, never, never. And um. Played this matchup from the E giant yeah, side a lot. And obviously with E giant, you have tornado as well. Relax really time and minor, enjoy the game. If you were lose, you lost a five thousand dollar. No problem. At that point, Mugi's down so much elixir, so he doubled down with the brawl breakers, and now he's taking the damage lead. At this point, it's gonna be very impossible for Mugi to come back. Mugi doing a great job though, just creating space for that magic archer on the left hand side. Ends up getting a little bit. It's a long distance damage from both player. Minor spear goblin's gonna get. Logged off the board, but Mugi really reaching there, making something special happen. Still though, down by 800, and now having to worry about no magic archer comes down in the back here from the light. Magic archer in the back, magic archer in the right, gonna get pulled in by the NATO. Misses the king activation, no. You Mugi get caught and take it. And enjoy the moment. Pressure from on the opposite lane from the left in that match card is not lined up. Come on, did not get Q. Mother got your first tower. So now this magic archer on the left hand side has to be paid attention to. Spear goblins, plus wall breakers come down. One uh, uh, half minute left. 1169. Moogie in an uphill battle here. Mohammed Light clearly in control. He's got the king tower division as well. Miners in from both <sighs> players. Miner gonna get picked, not get picked up from either side. Log stopping the wall breakers. I mean, at this point, it's not even in the lake. I'm trying damage. to think what Mugi it's needs to do to win this. And honestly, he needs a fat magic archery connection. But yeah. I just don't think that Muhammad Light is going to allow that. No, I mean, most playing his defense is pretty much solely with everything other than the knight. And that's what Mugi needs. Mugi needs a knight lineup with his magic archer. It's the only unit that has enough HP to keep it distracted long enough. Absolutely. Tornado once again used the all the magic archer and that is <sighs> basically ensure the magic archer never gets a good connection wait, 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 wait. trying to connect for mo here we're not gonna pull that back though we're heading into triple elixir no big spells from either player so anything can really happen comeback wise but it doesn't seem like it's very probable Monado's back, the second magic archer that comes down, living in the future. And so much of this, you're wondering, is this Mo? Is this Jebez? Is it both? Is he the one? Is Jebez or Mo the one that goes, all right, you know this is a mirror matchup now. All right, let's bait out the King Tower activation. Mm -hmm. Let's do that so we can get a magic archer. Like, Nobody can stop Mohamed's line. Nobody. Because you look at the disparity in damage done and the way it was played, and it strictly comes down to, I know this matchup, Better than you. Come on, why not lava? Where lava boy? Where? You you I can. have a big question. Where? Yeah, I mean, you, you talked about the bait at the beginning, but also just 
these tornado bats why not lava why not predicting when movies it's gonna play why not bridge lava perfect where a lava lava hall where never letting that magic archer get any sort of damage on the tower and i don't know about you guys or even you juicy but for me when i lose a mirror match it tilts me more than losing a oh. normal match I don't Absolutely. know why, it just drives me crazy because like you said, it comes down to who's better with the deck. That's it. Absolutely, especially with a quick cycle mirror matchup like that, it really is, I mean, is, there's no starting hands really that have to do with it. I mean, it's just... Mota and Bright. Plays better and Mo was definitely the better <laughs> right, in that situation. Muhammad Light doing Muhammad Light things. Now one game away from history again. I mean, literally every time this guy steps into a competition, history is being made, whether it's win rates, whether it's, you know, win rates with a specific card. Now looking like he could be our only monthly finals champion in 2023. And we're in June, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. I mean, winning three in a row was outrageous. Four in a row. It's just unheard of. We talked about it last monthly finals that this run for Muhammad Light might be the most Muhammad Light will run win and we all of esports history and I, I, think I can if go to sleep too the early finals in a row, that is 100% <laughs> the case. Snowball absolutely insane so bad about that kind of uh, title for a game like Clash Royale. It's been around for six years and honestly now two of them have been completely dominated by one player in so many events and you can see moogie already just he's he's tilted because you know that ice spirit connection with the snowball coming down that small interaction that that just frustrates you a lot and you see the damage that comes in already the ability to deal with split pings, what's the fuck? there's not really any splash damage on <sighs> that's Moogie's quite good that's quite one half soft please for that more for yeah. that cannon so or, or, sorry even though Moogie has that EQ for that Motor. cannon, no, it's got good. EQ for the mortar. So it's just going to be really tough to stop these hog pushes. I think your call out with the tilt is 100. Where log miss? Where lava house? Where? The ice spirit. We saw a late hog to prevent the arch queen hits. We saw a late EQ on the cannon so the hog doesn't get a shot. And the tower's already done the 1280. And the with matchup death, is like yeah, yeah. And the matchup's an advantage for Mo as well. And it's just gonna be almost impossible to come back here. Yeah, you, can, you can see Moogie already. Mohamed's like we. Very different than anything that we've seen from him at all in the, this entire competition. And right there, he, I mean, he just threw everything he had at the wall. And look at the bottom right hand side of your screen. EQ damage comes in. Mo ends up being the victor there. Ends up being up an elixir because those guards have to come down last second. And it's just the Mo show once again. Not to mention that mist. Pre EQ on the can on the left. He does have some good micro in this situation. Mortar is going to be a full anti EQ, but Mo literally predicted the anti EQ building placement. And doesn't even go for the pre EQ in that situation. It's just perfect micro, perfect macro, perfect gameplay from Mo. Like you said, the Mo show, Archer Queen ability, going to pop here, kill the Musketeer, Mighty Miner getting taken out. Now Mo has the three card cycle advantage. Here comes the pigs. Yeah, and this is kind of, I mean, I've, I've played this matchup many, many times, and, you know, there's the version that you have, like, Valkyrie and AQ instead of Mighty Miner and Musketeer for Moogie, and you... Fully banned Mohamed Lai from the, the crowd right now. It's too very... He yeah, goes really so very, very strong, and Easy nobody can right. stop so him. Be able to just finish off this game. Mortar is not going to really come down in time. One piggy lock on the tower. Snowball trying to push it off. Earthquake comes down. We are just one more round of Earthquake Snowball away from finishing it. <laughs> Snowball ring much up. And 182 remains on that tower. Ice Spirit doesn't make it this time. And Mohammed Light once again. Picking <laughs> up sixteen thousand dollars. Sixteen thousand dollars. Every single monthly final in twenty twenty three. He finished twenty twenty two with a world finals two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Four time in row. And the best four time in row. Four time in row. See you guys.